How to spin the globes. I mean, I absolutely understand that people are trying to immerse you in games and all that, but for content creators like me, maybe you, if you would just get up and press record, um, that is really hard for us to, like, get a word in edgewise when there's so much cackling and stuff going on in the background. And I get it, I get it, but at the same time. Hey, what's up, humans? Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. And this being episode two, we need to go outside the castle. We need to go get our gear that we need for class because we lost it inside the jaws of a dragon. So we need to get new stuff. I also lost what it appeared to be an owl. And I'm grateful for all of you who turned out for the very first episode. I was kind of just testing stuff. Because I, after doing this for a while, right? It doesn't matter if I've played the game or not. That the first episode usually does really well. Then there's usually a part in the game where there's like a twist or something. And then that does really well. And then the ending does really well. So let's, uh, let's just, uh, see if I'm right. You dropped something. Looks like a torch. You dropped this. What was that for? It's tradition in my family to play a game of Quidditch on the moors during the holidays. My entire family can talk. Oh, wait, are they? Were you guys juggling? Were you juggling? Yeah, it's freaking me out now. Fills our stout hearts with joy to be in the presence of such arrogance. A hundred and forty-two staircases, and this is where they put me. Protego! I need a Revelio. Levioso. Lumos. Revelio. There it is. Painting of Ilias. This painting depicts the young orphan wizard Ilias who famously saved his entire village from an army of Dementors and the dark wizard Roxidian uh, by conjuring a mouse Patronus. Level 3 Gotta learn, kid. We gotta learn. Or we're gonna end up in one of these Iron Maidens. What is this? Oh, watch the tile under your feet. You'll set off a something foul. Oh, please be careful. The unfairness of being hung here. Why it warrants looking into. People grumbling about a foul smell. Revelio. Pungent Passage. This passage is relatively nondescript as far as passages go. However, 
the mishandling of a crop of mim mimbulus, uh, mimbletonia in the 16th century and the accompanying tsunami of stink sap left it with a ra rancid odor that even the strongest scouring charm cannot seem to eradicate. You could just tread carefully. That's all I ask. The headmaster shows no compassion. I deserve a location that warrants pride, not one that reeks of manure. Like that's just people hold their breath through that passage or what? Blue flames. Someone's parents had homemade cauldron cakes and they shared them in the common room. Think they did some sort of civilizing. Half eaten cakes everywhere for days, though, right? My parents. Well, yeah, it's like walking through a museum or an exhibit that has to do with Harry Potter and uh, Hogwarts and such. It's just really cool to see. I miss having my own bedroom. One of the girls in our room recites potion recipes in her sleep. Another sings, and another mumbles incantations. I better watch out for those incantations. I play Elden Ring. They can be dangerous. Radigan's Rings of Light. I wonder if it's even quieter in here than we kept it in. Still have a bump on my head from herbology last week. I guess you can just walk through the stink passage. Don't let think it's me. I'll smell like poop. Always watching they are. Revelio. I can see through walls. Off on another adventure, are we? Yeah. I can't believe it. <laughs> this game is gorgeous. Hey, kitty. Oh, come on. Just go into the animation. I need to leave the school grounds. Oh, there's a globe. Dragon Globe. Where am I? Oh, painting. When I'm in Hogsmeade, I always pay a visit to Dobby and Dobby. Is this the entrance? We're finally at the entrance. Hey! I'd like to play Revelio. Goblin artifacts. Horns like the uh, horns like this were used by goblins during the 1612 Goblin Rebellion to rally troops and generally annoy witches and wizards. This horn was discovered in the aftermath of the rebellion behind the Hogs Hogshead Inn. 
with a wedge of Gorgonzola stuffed inside, presumably to mute it. Well, I'm learning. Learning. This must be the entrance. Revelio. Flattened armor. This set of armor belonged to Sir Scogglethorpe, the Heedless, who unwisely challenged the mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. So his head got smashed in by his mallet. Club. If I had to pick one shot, it would be glad rags. Three Sisters Bells. The Three Sisters Bells are said to be a tribute to three similarly named beautiful steep ridges that rise majestically over a glen in Argyllshire. It is rumored, what happened to the music? <laughs> it is rumored that one can hear them ring in the, in the glen, way across the highlands. When they are rung in the castle, locals have been baffled by the mysterious ringing for years. Me right with that wound cleaning potion. Is potion shops better than you'd find in London, I reckon? I'm uncomfortable with the size of my legs. You are often never there, so I'm telling you. Someone passed me a note in class with a heart on it. What the hell That's just happened? Read. What is this? Well, my father naturally assumed I'd be a strong seeker just like him. I say thank Merlin, Quidditch was... Revelio! Accidentally levitated for Dr. Burns. Wooden cat. This wooden statue bears the likeness of Pangordon, fearless feline mouse hunter and devoted study companion. He was fine about it. Actually complimented me on my wand. I'd like to do some window shopping in Hogsmeade this weekend. Oh, oh. oh get out of my way. Do you think I have a good call? You can be honest. Try working with a wand. Can't go these directions. I guess I'll go back up here. Tons of stuff here to look at. But we need to get to Hogsmeade. Revelio. Sleeping Dragon Statue. The Hogwarts motto, Draco Dormin's Nonquam. Uh, Titalandus uh, means never tickle a sleeping dragon. Fortunately, this particular sleeping dragon is made of stone and will never awaken. It may be tickled to absolutely no effect. Pots and pans. I see that all these have locks. Huh. Wine cellar?
to I don't know what to do with that page. This is not open. Well, let's go upstairs then. Oh, I can have a turban. There we go. That's how you do it. It's down here. Eyeball. Rebellion. All right. Anyway, hogs made. Like I said, let's go. These are the dungeons. Oh, okay. And I really can't believe WB Games isn't looking at this as a huge success. They're looking at it like, oh, how can we monetize it? I'm like, some things just shouldn't be live service games. Can I get an amen? Amen. <laughs> I'll do it for you. It's like, oh, why did this one fail? Unlike Suicide Squad. Oh, because Suicide Squad was going to suck regardless. Rebellion. Urn of Ashes. This particular, t uh, this particular urn is rumored to have once borne the inscription, Pioneer in Dragon Taming. Should not have started with the Hungarian Horntail. Excuse me. How do I leave? Professor Garlic would teach us more about Frog Choir. Here perch the slimy yet symphonic frogs that com that comprise the Hogwarts Frog Choir. These magical amphibians can sing in six-part harmony and hold a pitch better than most humans. Playing the bongos. Playing more percussion.
bongos. Symbols. Everyone has an obsession over percussion, I guess. Oh. Alright, I swear after we go up here, I'm going to find my way down there. This has just been... That just took my breath away. One hat was in that giant thing. What? There's no other way to get up here. Weird. All right, let's find our way to Hogsmeade. Okay, so this is me. Yes. Let's go meet with Weasley. Protego. Sorry. Walking all over your books. Let me out of here. Where were you going? <laughs> in here. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? 
Nope. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. What? More work? I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Uh, tell me about the potion shop. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. What about spellcrafts? I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. And there's really an Ollivander's here? There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Ready to go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. How about Natty? I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. I should probably grab one of my beers for that. So I need to get my assignment. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Ah, there you are. Hello. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. What's the purpose of the tasks? Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Revelio. Wyvern Fountain. This fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of a wyvern on top 
and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumors to the contrary, possible, uh, possibly started by Sir Cadogan, this is most assuredly not meant to be the wyvern of way of why, slain by the lively knight in spite of himself. All right, I'll believe that when I see it. So now I need to go do tasks. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Huh. I wonder. Wonder where it could be. Got it. Like fishing. Hello. Revelio. Accio. Lumos. Levioso. Interesting. I was like, just just do them all, man. Just do them all. We're going to be repairing this, aren't we? Got to learn how to repair it before I can repair it. All right. All right. Just... A flying page must be around here somewhere. Well, I mean, I can't imagine that it me. would be just flying around. Or anything like that. Yeah! Brilliant. Excuse me. Alright. Well, I did as you asked. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. Like fishing, like, like catching fish in a barrel. Something like that. I completed hmm. the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Reparo! I can fix things now. That's it! Very good! If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Trying to figure out. Okay, good. I was gonna say, if this wyvern has four legs, I'm gonna be upset. Repair. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. So that means I get to do my own thing now, right? I'm going to go meet Onai. If I had to pick a favorite. Why are you locking doors? If anyone needs help with an escape, Aha, this is the entrance. Hello. Looking for me? Yes. Let's go. 
Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. He's so happy. It's too late. Hold on. I'm going to grab my beer for when we actually hit the three broomsticks or whatever it's called. Hold on. <laughs> I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. Let's be sure we make some time. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Can I get a pet? Well, I'm glad to be going with you, oh, Miss O'Neill. I can't tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I was just running I there. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Yes, that's sort of true. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Yeah, as you said, you came from oh, the school wait, in Africa. Oh, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Say no more. Rebellion. Sorry. I got curious. You told me about something and I want to do it. Why can't we run side by side? Look, from the forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. This place is certainly magical. I don't know what it is. But I'm literally smiling from ear to ear playing this game. Likely already named them too. Prance Hoof and Sugarfoot. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. Cool. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah. That is true. Over the crest. Pass that ruin. You know, you're not wrong. Natty, you're not wrong. Don't do this. Why? Because, well, now I've got to. I'll see it. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, yeah. I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. Yeah, I will but... say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. That is also true. <laughs> oh, come on, climb. Mm. Sorry, I grew up poor. Crimson Quidditch gloves. Got 
Got some shrooms. Oh, there you are. I'll get some more shrooms, sure. Can never have too much of something. Don't let anyone tell you that you A, make too much money, or B, that you're wor not working hard enough, because you probably are. How are you settling in? Damn slave drivers. I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Lake! Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. What's this? Pick it up. Rebellion. Sorry, I, I I like to break stuff. It's like my go-to thing to do. Caddy. Should be kept in the oldest pure blood families, like the blacks. Wouldn't want riffraff running things. That's what my mother says. Oh, Wait. Professor Black was terrible before he decided to cancel Quidditch. Oh. That decision was the icing on the cold meat cake of your I heard something way different. It's always so exciting to see the owls come swooping into the Great Hall. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Huh? Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dudley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. He's drunk. Oh, Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Like! Seeing what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. How do you... I don't even read those signs. Like, this is where all this stuff is. Rebellion. Hogsmeade, the only all wizarding village in Britain. Hogsmeade has been a favorite haunt of Hogwarts students, third years and up for centuries. Jonathan's just having the best time. He's all smiles too. I want to get a good image. Or at least try. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. It's a wonderful thing to have in the village. Hogsmeade is very fortunate to have its own cauldron shop. Yes, 
Supposed to be following her, but I don't care. Alright. Yeah, I just wanted to read the book. Hi there, I'm gonna take a gander upstairs. Treasure hunt. Speak? Do you speak? Hello? What you got back here? Now that is for not speaking with me. Have a good day, sir. Hold on. I could use a cauldron. Again, grew up poor, have no money. Pet all the cats. I was standing behind a tail with the great Okay, you can't go into every place. It's got a lock on it. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes. Spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience hugs meet at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. You're enjoy not... yourself. I will see you soon. You're not going to join me? Hogsmeade. Fireworks. Got some Quidditch stuff. I pet you, cat, did I? No. 
They remind me of my neighbor's cat. Most of these places have locks on them. Sorry. Where I come from, we don't know how to walk either. Just another one, and another one. That was violent. Up for a game of Queen's Blood, sir? I was like, what are you looking at me? I'm very poor. Your uh, hog is still alive. Plenty of people just leaving their money around. I don't know why. Okay, well, where, where do I actually need to go? Latest hairstyles, but I got a really good one. Pippin's Potions. Ollivanders is over here. So let's go to Pippin's first. Oh man, I was just in that shop. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neat. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager.
fertilizer. I don't have a lot of money. I'm assuming I will, though. Revelio. The Magic Neep Cart. This cart belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Neep. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. Yeah, that's what he just said. Pet the chicken. Gonna go back across the bridge. Back across the bridge. And here. Flu flames. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can Shop I do for right you now. today? The Wigan Weld Potion, please, and the and, uh, Adurus Potion recipe, please. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come oh, back another time God. if you're in a rush today. Stench of the Dead. Well, I know who would like that. Revelio. J. Pippin's Potions. J. Pippin's Potions, established in 1753, is the apothecary in Hogsmeade where uh, proprietor, uh, proprietor Perry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. Stop fumbling the words! Oh, I can't spin it. Alright, well, let's head down to the one shop that I've actually already been to. We need to have our butter beer. It was this one, right? An inquiring mind. I was already in here, and you said nothing. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. 
That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Thank you. I'm poor, you know. I need nothing from there. Now I need to go to Ollivander's, which is... on the left. be right with ah it's you um just a moment please ah mm. hello sir i'm looking for, for a new wand yes it's about time yes uh, about time well you're our new fifth year student are you not oh what am i saying of course you are gerbold olivander's the name but of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Pretty. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Look at this guy. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, Looks a bit this archaic. This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. <clears throat> How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Why can't you pick yes, from a non-green box? I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Classic gray. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Mm. 
curious indeed. I got a stick. How intriguing. I like that one. Curious indeed. Okay, you can you can stop. Pink. How intriguing. Oh, we've seen these, right? Curious indeed. How intriguing. Oh, I see. Curious indeed. So it's either this one. Or this one. I'm thinking that one. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Intriguing. Curious indeed. Ebony Wood. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Surprisingly swishy. I'm gonna go with a dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Okay. Ah, Phoenix Feather. Exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. How intriguing. Okay, guess I'll go with the dragon heart string. What do you think? I think I've created evil. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Town Circle, let's go grab a beer. Revelio. So now... I've got my own wand. And it's a nice one.
That's for sports. Huh? You sick fuck. Nope, I didn't just take five gold coin from you. That's no big deal. All right, well, I'm gonna go do this. Upstairs? Or up this way? Locked. Flutes and loots. Again, you sick fuck. I'm just gonna take this drink. It's been sitting here. That's for me. Can I have an Can I have an instrument, please? A silver scarf. Very nice. How do I get all dressed up? Where's that one shop? Look like it was. Hairstyles. Honey Duke's candy. If something threatens me, first thing I can Rebellion. Glad Rags Mannequin, unlike enchanted mannequins favored by students for dueling practice, the mannequins at Gl uh, Glad Rags serve only as a means to display the latest in wizarding fashion. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that these chests are like sentient and then they're like, oh, I see you, I'm locking up. Should have already been locked, hello. Perfect for a Ravenclaw like me. You and your damn side doors. All right, let's see what you got. Got anything cool? All right. All right, fine. Kitties. Oh. This is going to be great. It's going to be great. Oh. Revelio. Scriven Shaft Cats. These cats seem to stay close to Scriven Shaft's quill shop. Perhaps it's the feather, uh, the feather quills that entice them, or perhaps it's the treats and uh, the owner often leaves for them. Maybe. I have money now. Can I get a quill? I don't know how I'm supposed to do my homework without a quill. like a theme park. Damn you. Nick Peck from Rude and Peck said a customer lost a deer all around here. I know. Alright. Natty. 
Let's grab a drink. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Pick one. What are you picking? Oh god. This guy's got some armor on. QTEs, huh? Body me. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it. We have to wear him down. Let me also. Was trying to beat him at his own game. I let him do more of it. I died. My journey has ended. All right. That was definitely talking. Ah, I have everything. <laughs> we should walk around it. Get into it. So that's supposed to be dodge. Get out of here. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it. We have to wrap it down. Let me go. Expel him. I don't think that's going to work. Bye bye now.
Is that you or is that? Goodness. Game. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? What's armor? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. I just want some butterbeer. Okay, bye. Repair the damage. Oh. Repair it. That was a bit wonky. One last thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Ah. Repair. Well, have you know, I didn't do any of that. Lucky they didn't do more damage. You're welcome. I thought you guys were going to help me. I'll have you know, I'm absolutely marvelous at this. One more. Repair it. Speak to the shopkeep. Which one? This one? Well armed. We were just talking about you. And I don't say things I don't mean. Augustus Hill. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. No, that's far too generous of you. That's very kind of you, Mr. Hill, but I can't accept robes that I didn't pay for. I insist. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. What perusing? Is that a... Fine. You got some stuff there. For fashion. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Yes. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Yes. Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. Okay, so this is a bit ridiculous. Where is my gear?
that's gonna cover my hair? Yes. We're just gonna look weird. I hope that that's cool. I get a flying mount? I'm gonna look ridiculous for a bit. Battle worthy items, should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Let's go. Oh, don't tell me that muggle Look at me. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. Damn it. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. So we're not going to not have a beer. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Odd voice. I'm incognito. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Cheers. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> Great. What time, Lane? Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. 
Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. Just watch me. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. What I didn't make any enemy. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise Things. to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Yes, we will most certainly do that, Natty. While I'm incognito here. Rebellion. Aha. The Three Broomsticks, currently run by Serona Ryan and allegedly as old as Hogsmeade itself. The Three Broomsticks is the long-standing gathering spot for villagers and Hogwarts students who want to enjoy a butterbeer or fire whiskey. Fire whiskey! I'll drink that. I'll eat that. I'll drink that. Some people at the bars will do this. I've seen it happen. So just watch your drink. Watch your drink. What are you buying? <laughs> all right. Well, this is all the time that I have for today's episode. To Thank you so much for watching. Why don't you headbutt that like button and subscribe for when I post more stuff like this or the other videos of yours just here to enjoy some time with me. Over there, I got the playlist for Hogwarts Legacy. So we only have two episodes right now. Then beneath it, I'd like to share with you this little one that I've done. It's called First Impressions. It's a playlist that has all of my first episodes for the uh, the live uh, not the live streams but the blind playthroughs on this channel so be sure to check those out now not every video that I have is in there just the first episode not every first episode like Mass Effect you're not going to find in there Elden Ring you're not going to find in there um, but the rest of them like no halos either well anyway thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time Right here in Hogsmeade, because that's where we're going we're gonna to pick up. All right? So take it easy, humans. I'll see you star side.